it's easy to do a viral campaign and get people thinking you once, but how do you get them to think of you multiple times and to keep coming back to be triggered over and over and over again? And I'm gonna tell you what I learned. Cheerio cereal talked about more than Disney World. And the reason that that is, is because Cheerios have triggers like milk. You're triggered to have cereal every morning and a lot of people eat Honey Nut Cheerios. It's like the trigger. But you only go to Disney World maybe once a year, maybe once every other year, maybe once a decade, depending on how much money you have. And there aren't a lot of triggers for Disney World specifically, but there's a daily trigger for Cheerios. And some examples I gave of, of a brand who did this successfully was like Kit Kat. Um, Kit Kat was, had that song, uh, Give Me a Break, Break Me Off We Said Kit Kat Bar since 1986, and it like, helped the brand take off. But eventually it got stale. And they were like, how do we get people to come back and eat Kit Kats? And they figured out the trigger of coffee. People drink coffee every morning and they often had Kit Kat with a warm beverage. Now, typically it might go better with like a hot chocolate or whatever, but they wanted you to eat them more often. So they did Kit Kat and coffee as like a campaign. And this is behavioral science marketing versus just like how do we come up with something cool that'll make a splash from the internet. These triggers is how you get people to associate your product with their behavior and to come back and buy it over and over again. Or what things are people already doing with their product? Is it a part of their daily routine, their morning routine? Um, do they do this when they're hungry, when they're tired? Like, what are they doing with your product and when do they use it? Follow for more tips.